Hi guys, I have another puzzle review here and it is by this uh, puzzle brand called um, Galison. As you can see, I have uh, three puzzles from Galison. Uh, one was purchased from TJ Maxx, one was from um, Home Goods, and interestingly, one was from this um, from this a boutique store uh, called Francesca's or Francesca's. Um, Fran Francesca's actually they have um, like your typical boutique um, shoes, bags, and um, mostly uh, clothes. But they also have a small section for their gifts <laughs> and like keychains and um, teacups and you know frames and all that stuff. And I saw this, it caught me, it caught my eye because um, I've seen this uh, puzzle, the one in the middle. I think I've seen it at Barnes & Noble. I've seen it in Barnes & Noble and it has a 1000 piece foil puzzle. So I was like, okay, let me try that since it says it's a foil puzzle. I'm just, um, you know, curious as to what a 1000, I mean, foil puzzle would be. But I did not build um, the one 1000 piece. Uh, I first built the garden on the right because um, I just wanted to um, check it, to try it if it's uh, an easy one and I just wanted to check the quality and boy, it did not disappoint me. I love this. Okay, so let's look at <coughs> the box itself. The box is like gift material. material. It's like one of those gift boxes. It's really, really nice. And just look at that, that's a garden. Um, I thought I was not gonna be buying 500 pieces and less, but I've started um, buying uh, less than 500, like 350 because of the imagery or the photograph, because I just love it. And if it's just one of those days, if you need um, just a pick me up or a puzzle, you know, fix, <laughs> quick fix, that's what I would say. Okay, so, and I just find it very enjoyable and very satisfying. This was the easiest puzzle I've ever built so far, although it's only 500 piece. I've built some other 500 pieces, but um, it gave me a challenge. This this has a standard cut, cut no, um, no fancy or odd uh, shapes, standard cut, but, um, as you can see, the, the image is really, really um, very distinct. You would know exactly where things go. So I just separated them by color, of course. And the last bit that uh, I did was this palm tree and this thing over here, the cactus. Okay. Um, basically the the largest concentration of just one color and there there's just a lot like this 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 and that okay so i this is the most enjoyable puzzle i've done so far uh, because it's you know the color is just really really amazing it's not it's not um shiny or any of that it's actually like matte but i just love love it okay oh, so this is the box the Okay, so it has this big picture front and back. So it says here, designed in the USA, manufactured in China. Okay, I just love the box. It's very, it's quality, guys. It's very thick. And look at that, the contrasting blue color here. And this is the bag. And it also has a bonus poster, which is just, you know, a tiny poster. It's not a big um, uh, poster. Besides, this is only 20 by 20. It's only um, 500. And because I've enjoyed that so much, I got another one. And this is succulents or cactus. And that was $7.99 though. Um, and this was $7.99 also. So um, yeah, it's kind of an expensive hobby, guys. I just, I, I think I've spent like $180 on puzzles alone this week and then last week as well i spent a lot too so although i've been getting them from uh, the sales section or clearance it's still um, expensive because i got some some of them from i got one from dealers and i got a lot of them from no bars and noble where i just forked like seven to eight dollars from bars and noble okay but anyway we'll get to that later what i like about this is that the pieces actually they have a uh, minimal dust 
just not a lot of dust guys it was pretty clean i would say really really nice <clears throat> and they have standard cut so um no odd shapes that made it you know, easier but sometimes if you have a standard cut and just one cut sometimes it just makes it difficult so you just have to follow the pattern so this is the the it's pretty thick and they just yeah they do click so there you go um so there's no mistaking if um uh, if uh, an a thing is questionable i think i have problems with seco and um yeah seco because sometimes they fit together <laughs> so several pieces will fit together and this one it says foil so this did not impress me however i just wanted to try a 1000 piece puzzle so i bought it anyway and this was from francesca's i was like wow this was 9.99 or 10 dollars this would normally be i think 20 dollars you can see this this has no no dust at all my first one had no dust at all this one has a little bit of dust but see it says foil backing what, what foil backing are they talking about it's white well i don't know i don't know what that even means <laughs> so <clears throat> this is a collection of uh, books and um yeah this is 1000 piece so um uh, maybe I'll, I'll do this one of these days, but it's just that um, I prioritize my puzzles by image. If I'm inspired to do it, you know, I, I will do it. And uh, this is 1,000 pieces. I've been, um, I've been building 500 pieces lately, and I've been enjoying them because of the, uh, the time. You know, it doesn't take a long time to, um, to build that puzzle. Uh, normally it would be $17.99 but it wasn't clearance it was $9.99 okay now let me show you the puzzle itself that I built and this is in the entirety so the image I really want to frame this I don't know but maybe um I think this is something that I will keep because I've enjoyed this so much maybe I will frame it and then just put it in the bathroom so far this is um, the most frameable image that I've ever seen it's really really nice and the box is really ideal for gifting and um, maybe I'll just keep it and and do it again in fact my my son is doing a 300 puzzle from Seiko <laughs> and guys this is very thick very thick very large and very thick very thick so i was impressed because the seacoats that i've built uh, this is only 300 uh pieces the seacoats that i've built uh some of them uh were not okay they were not as sturdy as that one but that one is yeah so so there you go so yeah you can pick it up and they interlock so well yes they do interlock well and um i i love this it's it's really really nice okay there you go guys uh gallison is on my radar now i love gallison uh because of the quality no puzzle dust not that it you know it matters but at least you know i didn't have to put in the a strainer and um yeah it has a really vibrant um color and uh, it's easy <laughs> it was the easiest so far for me okay and it's a lovely lovely uh picture there you go guys bye